YouTube, what's going on? Long time no see. Uh, today we are. That's the wrong socket. All right, uh, YouTube. Long time no see. Uh, been busy doing some stuff. Haven't really felt like making videos, but I'm back. <clears throat> so this is a Bendix Hydra Boost. They put them on pretty much all all the diesel pickup trucks at some point. Uh, mine's off a '99 Dodge. Uh, they get to leak in here. They leak out of the center section or out of here. And there's there's two seals inside this cylinder. They they just get old and cracked. So I'm gonna be replacing those seals. And this is how you do it. So you take it out of the truck, obviously. Uh, I'm not going to show that because it's different with all all the different years and models. Uh, once you got it out, you're going to want to split it right here. There's five bolts, I think, around the circumference. Alright, uh, while I take this part, uh, my regular viewers, I haven't been posting, I haven't posted much recently, and I'm trying to start back up posting stuff now. It's getting a little less busy around here. Uh, I'm going on a little fishing trip a couple days to Chesapeake Bay, uh, second weekend of September. And I'd make like a, I guess you call it a vlog, I don't know. I can do some footage there if y'all want to see it. Just let me know if you want to see that or if that's stupid or whatever. I got go. I mean, I wear GoPros anyways when I fish. Just come in case something cool happens. So it wouldn't be much to make a video. But uh, yeah, if you want to, and now there's a spring in there. You saw that just popped, and it's gonna, it's just gonna squirt everywhere a little bit. But you know, you'll have that. All right. So you just want to pull it apart. Is your seal? It goes bad. I don't know if I can. You can kind of see that edge right there. There's a seal there, and there's a seal on the other side. Uh, I think it's on this. No, it's not on that side. Anyways, there's that seal, and then there's this little figure eight doohickey here. That comes in a little kit. So, yeah. Let me grab the seals, and we'll stick them in there. Okay, and they're zoomed out. This little figure eight seal comes in the kit, so we'll replace that. And this other one, I'll just dig it out with a pick or maybe these pliers. Doesn't really matter how it comes out as long as it comes out. Uh, 32 and 17 is what we're going to be replacing here. Alright, uh, notice how it came out. The lip is facing up out of here so that's how we're going to put it back all right let me get some towels and then uh, just oil up your new seal and 
and stick it back in the hole. Take your new case gasket, and pop it in there. Take and clean everything off good. Now, this little guy in there, it's a little spring. It's got little tabs on it like this, and you want them facing down. Helps if I have it the right way. Alright, you see down there? If it'll focus. That little washer looking thing down there, it's a spring. It's got tabs on it like this and you want the tabs facing down from the end you put it in so now we're just gonna pop it back together <clears throat> So your spring goes in, then your piston, and then this side, <clears throat> the spring goes down and the washer stays up. Alright, see these little ribs, you want them, it needs to be this way, with the ribs facing down. You can just stick your bolts in. 